Okay, this has been a little bit of a journey for me, but this is the Acer Chromebook. It's supposed to only be able to load the Chrome operating system. So, pretty good hardware for an operating system that hardly runs anything. So, um, I pretty much won this laptop, and I've reflashed it with CBIOS, the, uh, the BIOS. Uh, there's a lot of information online about it, but I have it set now so that I can dual boot. I have Windows 8.1, I'm not sure if you can see it there, and I also have Ubuntu on it, Ubuntu Linux. The issue you'll run into is that Windows does not support the touchpad or the, the keyboard. So, that being the situation, I decided that I would like to be able to make it still so it's mobile. And Linux, Ubuntu, does support these two with a little modification so it'll use the uh, touchpad. So here is Linux loading. I selected, I set it to only do one, one second, but still it takes a second anyway, so I just hit enter anyway. You'll see it load up here in a second. Some very talented people out there to come up with this BIOS. Uh, kudos to you, because wow, that's really nice. The BIOS that comes with it, uh, just for the people that don't know while we're waiting for it to boot, it doesn't allow you to, to run other operating systems other than the Chrome operating system. So the hardware doesn't let you do anything else. But here is Ubuntu running on it. As you can see, the, the uh, mouse is working. I installed Google Chrome on here, <laughs> you know, fitting for a Chrome OS laptop here. At least have its own op own browser back on here. And of course, you can see that the keyboard works as well, so that's working good. And all the hardware works on here. You got your your uh, you know wireless everything. Everything's connected and working. Alright, so now I'm going to shut this down and reboot. I'm going to reboot so that you can see it booting into Windows. Restart. Alright, so now I want to select Windows 8.1. The, key, the keyboard works on this boot menu. That works. So. I'll select that. You can see it now booting into Windows 8.1. Had to have Windows on here for the person I'm giving it to, my son. That way he could be able to, uh, you know, play his games and stuff because he's got a lot of Windows games that he's wanting. Here is Windows 8.1. Now you'll see the touchpad doesn't work now in here. Neither does the keyboard. So now we go to our external mouse and keyboard, and they do work. So we can select that and log in here. And there it is. It's Windows 8. And I can tell you for people that are wondering about this laptop, uh, you know, the Chrome OS laptop running Windows 8, it does run games like The Sims 3 and Minecraft and Amnesia the Dark, Dark Descent. All those games are running, and they run really well, believe it or not. However, the main things that do not work with Windows 8.1, and the reason why I installed Ubuntu so that it can be mobile, is that, uh, of course, the touchpad does not work in here, and the keyboard does not work. And also, you'll see that your 
your uh, no, I don't know if you can see it or not the uh, power management does not work it says right now that I don't have anything as far as the battery plugged in I don't have it plugged in <laughs> you know things like that mainly just no battery detected I think it is detecting that I have it plugged in I'm not sure so but it works even off the battery so it doesn't matter what it says there I know what it's got <laughs> but everything works great I just wanted to post a video so everybody can see this is the uh, the Chrome Chrome OS uh, notebook that you can get you know it's just supposed to have the Chrome OS but thanks to my website let me see if I can get to it real quick here oops gonna use the wrong keyboard here we are I'll post the the uh, website in the you know the link to the website here on the video but that is the website right there that I got this customizable uh, bios here and as I was seeing in the previous videos make sure you read everything before you start working on this read it all because there are things important on here that you really need to know before you start you know really just flashing things over you might ruin something so be cautious alright and that is the conclusion of this video I hope this has helped somebody out if they were looking for it. Make sure you donate. This gentleman here who made this, my hat's off to you. and You did a great job. For all those out there, make sure that you donate for this gentleman. He's got a lot of information here on what this is. The name of the BIOS is called Coreboot. Alright, that concludes my video.